What's up everybody, how you doing? And welcome back to yet another video. My name's Connor for those of you who don't know me and I hope every one of you are warmer than I am right now because it is currently six degrees Fahrenheit right now. But anyways, I'm all dressed and ready to go. I got my bag full of gear in the trunk back there and I'm heading off to the studio for a really, really awesome shoot. Now I'll tell you all there is to know about this shoot in just one second, but I will say I am so, so excited for this shoot. You guys are definitely not gonna wanna miss it, but for now, I'm gonna go grab a coffee. I'll meet up with you guys in just one second. All right, I'm at the studio, I got my coffee, and I'm all ready to go. So, a few weeks ago, I meet this girl named Allison, and we do a photo shoot together. I'll show some of the photos right above me right now. And as you can tell, she's a crazy talented cosmetologist. Now, for those of you who don't know, cosmetology is makeup, hair, all that kind of stuff. So, she does really, really cool things with makeup. And she reaches out to me and she tells me that she was invited to the North American Makeup Red Carpet, which is really awesome. I had never heard of it before, but anyways, they wanted to feature some of her work. So she needed to bring three different models with three different looks and just get them photographed. And I said, heck yeah, I'll do that. It sounds like a blast. So that brings us to right now. She's on her way with a few of her models. She has three different really, really awesome looks lined up. Um, I've actually seen some of her inspiration for those looks and I'm really excited because they look really awesome. I could not be more excited for this and you guys are definitely not gonna wanna miss it. But anyways, I'm gonna get all set up, get all my lights and camera and lenses and props and everything set up for you guys. I'm gonna take you along with me and I'm gonna walk you through all my lighting setup, posing, what my thought process is, everything. So everything I do, you guys will be with me for. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get over there and get shooting. All right, so while Allison was putting the finishing touches on the makeup, I got all my lighting set up. Since this shoot was all about the makeup, I knew a single beauty dish would be most flattering. You know, I wanted the light to fall across the face of the model and make the highlights and makeup really pop. And that's the only light I used. For beauty portraits like this, that's all you really need. I did rig up a fill card underneath the model's chin though, and I did that to fill in some of the shadows as well as to give like a beautiful second catch light in their eyes. And speaking of that, do, do all of you know about catch lights? Like for portraits, you want a bright pop of white light glistening from the person's eyes. It makes the eyes light up, they look stunning, they look beautiful, it's fantastic. I usually like to bounce a bit more from the opposite side to enhance the crescent made from the refraction of the main light. Anyways, throughout the shoot, the beauty dish was, was usually above and just off to camera right. That way we got some really good shadows, but not too much. And by the way, I was using Profoto heads, modifiers, and packs for this shoot. The fill card is just from some uh, foam core that's rigged up on some C-stands, and I just boxed myself in with some more V-folds. I was using my Canon 5D Mark III as usual, and because I wanted to get like really, really close to my models, I used my beautiful 100mm 2.8 macro lens. I absolutely love that lens. Most people don't know that you can use it for portraiture, but I would definitely recommend giving it a try. It's a beautiful portraiture lens. And everything was shot at f9 all day with a shutter speed of 1 1 60th and of course shooting at ISO 100. All right, as you can see, our first look was a creepy clown look. Allison really did some interesting makeup on Anna here. I definitely wanted to make it a darker look, so I kept the black background with the V-folds, and I moved, the, I moved the beauty dish just off to the side a little bit more to get a little bit more shadows on the opposite side of her face. I also put a grid on that beauty dish just to make sure that I had absolutely no spill from the light onto my background. I wanted it to stay very, very dark. We actually got the shot we needed for this look pretty darn quick. Um, for it, I had Anna do this really creepy tilt of the, her head and just looking aimlessly into the camera. And by the way, just a heads up, for headshots like this, posture is super, super important. Most people don't think about it because it's just a headshot, but you can tell so much with a person's body language by just looking at their headshot. So make sure you're reminding your model to sit up straight, put their shoulders back. It'll completely change your photo and make it look amazing. And next up was Michael, and this was by far my favorite look of the day. 
Allison did this amazing smeared and textured look that I just loved. I, I dig it. I couldn't get enough of it. I chose a gray background for this shot to complement the colors in the makeup, but not to distract from the makeup. And I took the grid off the beauty dish so the background would be a little bit more illuminated and bright. We ran through a few different poses, not too many, uh, with Michael. Um, some were more standard, some were more high-end, and in the end I absolutely love how this one came out. Let me know down in the comment section below if this was your favorite shot as well. And finally, Becca got on set for the third look. I swapped her background to white, and I kept the light exactly as it was for the shoot with Michael. I wanted the background to be really clean and really simple to let the green in her makeup pop. We knew exactly what the shot was that we wanted before going into this. We wanted more of a profile shot, so we went straight to that. And she got up there, she got up on set, and we got the shot right away, easy peasy. What I personally love about this shot is the leather jacket. I think the leather jacket completely finishes the look and makes it significantly more successful. It really just pulls the whole shot together and it goes to show that propping can help even a headshot. Just a little bit of that jacket coming in from the bottom makes this shot like twice as successful. And after Becca, it was a wrap and they could get off set, go home and get that makeup off. So when I started the editing process, I did have some trouble at first. I had never edited makeup of this magnitude before and it proved to be super, super difficult right out of the gate. Um, like bare skin, it's so easy to clone and patch in Photoshop because it's all very consistent in the same color. Um, but in this case, each tiny little insignificant patch of the face can be like three different colors and textures. So it could be very difficult to pull from. But I practiced it a little bit and after some failures, after some successes, I got to where I wanted to be and I absolutely loved how the shots turned out. But let me know what you think of the shots. Leave a comment below saying which one's your favorite. Also feel free to ask any questions you might have about the things I may not have explained well or things that I left out. Um, like I say in every one of my videos, I make it a point to answer every single comment on my videos. I think you guys deserve that. If I'm making these tutorials for you guys, uh, you deserve me to respond to any question you might have. So go ahead, leave a like while you're at it. And hey, if you're new and you like the video, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate that. Real quick, I did just want to give a big thanks to Allison and her three models for doing this shoot with me. Their info is below, so go check them out. Also, this entire video would not be possible without my good friend Chris Petri, who is behind the camera for all of this, so go ahead and give him a follow on Instagram as well. He's one of the most talented photographers I know. But anyways, I won't take up any more of your time. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. I hope you liked the video and have a fantastic day.